What famous person's downfall are you waiting for the most? David Miscavige. I'd love to see that cult crumble to the ground for all the lives that have been ruined. Most cults reject celebrity and mainstream existences. Scientology cozies up to those powerful people, and that's why they will continue to thrive. Jim Bob Duggar. He should take his pedo son with him too. Hmm. There are so many, but I'd go with asterisk asterisk Prince Andrew. The dude is a mega creep fr. David Miscavige. Fr is hiding something. Where is Shelly, David? I had a relationship with someone who escaped from Codollar. When I say, escaped, I mean it literally. She was a messed up teenager with a mother who was in and out of psychiatric facilities. Father unknown. Codollar convinced her that they would provide her with a stable home and an education and tricked her insane mother to sign over custody. Here is what she said her life living in a co-dollar compound consisted of. 1. 20-hour workdays. Getting more than 4 hours of sleep was an exception. 2. Underfed. She was always hungry. 3. Her education was basically, here's how to use a washing machine. Oh, you were billed $10,000 for that training. It was in her contract. She never completed proper school. No high school diploma. 4. When she was seriously injured in an accident, they would not provide proper medical treatment. The result was lifelong back pain that will never go away. She would sleep on the floor because even the firmest mattress was insufficient. 5. When she tried to leave, they locked her in a cage and suggested they were going to kill her. Eventually, they just dumped her on the street with nothing more than the clothes on her back. Lots more, but you get the idea. Edit. Added hyphen to clarify. Dr. Phil could use a comeuppance. Can he take Dr. Oz with him? I'm really surprised Andy DK is still around. Not famous at all, but my neighbor. F my neighbor. Prince Andrew. He's not quite over the line yet. If he was medically capable of it, then he would be sweating right now. Joel Osteen. I'm tired of seeing his stupid face on billboards. Edit. Oh wow thanks for the gold. Also, this blew up. I'm glad we can all come together in our hatred of Joel Osteen. Not long ago a janitor found a poo ton of money stuffed behind the walls of the bathroom in his church, barely any reporting was done on it. I wonder what the real story is with this. All the members of Congress that have served for 40 years and refuse to retire even though they aren't aware of what's happening around them. Term limits for all of them. Dan Schneider. How he's managed to stay under the radar is beyond me. Seeing clips of shows like iCarly and Victorious as an adult now makes me wonder how the hell anyone let him get away with all the stuff he put in his shows, let alone whatever the hell was going on behind the scenes. Everyone in Epstein's ring. All of them. No matter who they are. Every. Single. One. I don't know what my answer was going to be, but I've changed it to this guy's. Literally anyone in Scientology. Why do we worship and praise Tom Cruise so much when he's one of the highest, most powerful figures in an abusive, controlling, and dangerous cult? I feel like we only learned how scary Cruise is well after he became really famous and revered. If we'd known as much about Scientology and how off Cruise himself is way back during his Top Gun days, maybe he wouldn't have been so loved. And there's also how much Oprah loved him and basically endorsed him as a solid, non-fed up human being. Her interview of him when he first started dating Katie Holmes was so over the top but also portrayed him as this incredible in love guy and we should all be seeking what he offered. In retrospect it's really messed up, but at the time, with the limited public knowledge of Scientology and his involvement in it, it all seemed enviable. Any of the televangelist people? F. Ng Kenneth Copeland. I know you can't judge a book by its cover but he looks like Satan and his character matches. Why people give him money is beyond me. He's so transparent. Waiting for James Corden to yell at the wrong person whilst in line for takeout pickup. Since everyone has already said televangelist how about Gwyneth Paltrow's shady corrupt ass? Greater than shady corrupt ass. She sells a cream for that. Steven Siegel, absolutely worthless human being who has sexually assaulted multiple women and is now supporting Putin in his attempted genocide of Ukraine. Chris Brown. Beat the absolute hell out of Rihanna several times and girls are still thirsty ASF for him. He has so many violence cases against him, ranging from club encounters, to old managers, and of course his ex-girlfriends. 
But yay, the case report from when he beat Rihanna is so incredibly hard to read. I'm so happy she's with someone else, became self-made billionaire, pregnant and she genuinely looks happy now. Edit. Apparently they're no such thing as self-made billionaires but shush is a POC, a woman, and also billionaire, which isn't common, BC of her business ventures and that's why I said self-made, she's very successful. The Saudi royalty, like stop selling them weapons. Stop buying their oil. Stop giving them tourist dollars. They are a murderous regime that paid for 9-11. They execute people en masse. They murder their neighbors and import slave labor on a massive scale. They RP the slave help they bring in and then kill them if they complain. All with zero consequences from the world. If there is karma or justice it should be meted out to these tyrants. Roman Polanski, although he's pretty old now. Kenneth Copeland and Joel Osteen. The dead eyes and manic smiles give me the absolute creeps. Edit. Did not expect this to get so much support. Thanks everyone. My mother fell hard for the prosperity gospel. When she passed and I had to go through her finances, I discovered she had sent Copeland thousands of dollars. It was heartbreaking, because all those prayers she bought didn't do poo and the leukemia got her anyway. Vladimir Putin I dunno I was pretty happy when Ellen got exposed for everything I always thought she was. A few years ago she was on a weird tour and spoke in Vancouver, BC. The entire audience of 20k people expected her to be amazing. She was a complete bitch. It was very, very clear that she didn't want to be there and she hated the guy, interviewing her on stage. Total disaster. Everyone left shocked and disappointed. YouTubers like the Paul Brothers, James Charles, Eugenia Cooney, Dream and Company, they are cancer and are really bad influence and role models for children. Edit, I gonna edit this because I tend to get the same comments over and over again and it is tiresome to read the same, while there is already a bunch of other people answering the questions too. With Dream and Co. I don't mean Dream and his Minecraft gang, I mean other YouTubers in general. This list is basically endless and has anyone in it with a huge million following and the people who are in constant scandals. Some more to add would be family channels, Trisha, Jeffra Star, Nikocado Avocado, Shane Dawson, he already had his downfall though, and many, many more. Why Logan Paul? Jake is bad, but Logan is cool now. Great that he seems like he wants to change but I am not forgiving so easily on the past years of scandals. There wasn't passing a week without a scandal with the Paul brothers. It was horrible, they mostly had an underage following and completely abused their fans and other children. Then Logan decided it was smart to go to Japan and be disrespectful to tourists and Japanese there and also to film a corpse and upload the video, not blur the first time, to YT. I still have them both there because just because he is into boxing now doesn't really suddenly just make all his past mistakes go poof. If he keeps up getting better, that is great. But stuff like that should just not be forgotten so fast. Why dream? He is just playing Minecraft, this comes so often. He has an incredible toxic fanbase that he encourages to be toxic. He cheated on MC, then lied about not knowing he is cheating and throws out a quick apology after destroying the other person's career who claimed he was cheating. His fans and he himself dox others who aren't sharing the same opinion as him. He actively encourages his fans to draw gay p of him and his friends because pretending to be gay is hella funny xd, he is homophobic and makes often racist statements. He and his ex-girlfriend cheated on each other multiple times and much more. So no, he is not just playing MC. The famous people that were clients of the Epstein ring. Edit, thanks everyone for the awards. I think all the upvotes goes to show how important it is to people that justice be served in this case. The puzzling, and frustrating thing, is how little media attention it gathers. I love how Ghislaine Maxwell was charged with sex trafficking yet somehow, not a single client's name seemed to have ever been mentioned during the whole trial. I guess she was trafficking people too. No one. Edit. I know it was for Epstein. It's just egregious to think he's there the only two people involved. I'm Brazilian, so Jair Bolsonaro and Eddie Macedo. Mark Zuckerberg. The tiny lizard bastard has to go. Edit, Mark, not Mac. Jared Leto. He is a literal danger to society. Cult leader groomer. It's only a matter of time before this illist household name gets exposed as a very evil man. Then people are going to do the classic, how could we have known, poo when the man's life resume has red flags littered all over it. What I don't understand is how he's still around. Look at James Franco. He's super cancelled and they have similar accusations. 
the Kardashians and Jenners to end up broke. Rupert Murdoch. Edit thank you for the gold, mysterious benefactor. Down with that guy, seriously. If the devil is real, he's Murdoch. This bastard is responsible for so much misery and turmoil for humans it's unprecedented. He's pure evil I've no doubt and has been able to amass far too much power. Jared Leto because he is objectively a poo person. A friend from college got to work on Dallas Buyers Club and told me that at least twice a week Jared Leto would throw a fit and lock himself in his trailer that would make shooting impossible for a day so Matthew McConaughey would go out and buy the workers some barbecue and a keg of beer to drink. Oprah. For introducing, producing and profiting off the victimization of Dr. Phil and Dr. Oz. For knowing Weinstein was a bully the whole time and still promoting him to friends and the public. For marginalizing the LGTBQ+, including belittling Rodman's sexuality while interviewing him. For demanding people work for her for the exposure. Just generally being a piece of crap. Machine Gun Kelly for some reason. The entire Kardashian-Jenner clan. I hate the famous for being famous concept but these days I doubt anything will. First, there's just so many of them, it's doubtful any one thing could hit them all. Second, they know the fame is a business and generally treat it as such. If you watch an interview with Kim she's incredibly polished and clearly invested a lot of time in coaching and appearance management. Unless she just snaps, I don't expect any really major slip-ups, and she seems like she has a bottomless well of patience for BS. Vladimir Putin Putin's. May he fall deep and hit hard. Piers Morgan Mitch McConnell. Some days the only thing that keeps me going is knowing I'm gonna outlive Mitch McConnell. Jeff Bezos. Thank you for watching. We upload new videos every day, so be sure to come back for more fun. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the video.